an iconic autumn treat, these candy apples are super easy to make and don't require any corn syrup. Though they only use sugar, water, and a bit of food coloring, the absence of an invert sugar makes them a little bit more technical to make, but if you follow the tips in this video, I promise you'll be set up for success. And if you're new here, I'm Maggie, this is No Frills Kitchen, where I teach you how to cook with confidence with nothing fancy required. First, prep your apples. All you need to do is spear the apples through the stem end with some lollipop sticks, popsicle sticks, or even a single chopstick. You want to ensure that the apple is speared about halfway down. You don't really want the apple to fall off the stick while you're dipping it in molten sugar. Finally, set a small dish of water and a pastry brush next to the stove. Now it's time to make the sugar syrup. The steps to this are virtually identical to most of my candy recipes, from hard candy to chewy caramel to peanut brittle. As everything has the same base, you can just cook it to different temperatures and levels. Add some sugar and a bit of water to a saucepan. I recommend using caster sugar, which is also known as super fine sugar, as it's finer than regular granulated sugar. However, if all you have is granulated sugar, that's fine. It will just take a little bit longer to dissolve. Set the pan over medium low heat and stir constantly with a silicone spatula in order to dissolve the sugar. When the syrup reaches a liquidy state, but the sugar isn't completely dissolved, it's time to add some red food coloring. Keep stirring the sugar syrup until the sugar is completely dissolved and avoid letting the mixture boil until you are sure the sugar is dissolved. If there are any undissolved sugar crystals left in the mixture once the mixture boils, this will cause the entire syrup to turn grainy and crystallize. If you were using corn syrup, this prevents this from happening. However, if you're not, you must be aware of this potential pitfall when making these candy apples. If you're worried the mixture is coming to a boil too quickly before your sugar is completely dissolved, don't be afraid to periodically take it on and off the heat just to ensure that you have everything dissolved before it boils. And as soon as the syrup begins to simmer, stop stirring. Dip a pastry brush in some water and wash down the sides of the pan to quickly dissolve any sugar crystals that have developed there. Then allow the syrup to bubble away unagitated. This is the time to add a candy thermometer if you have one, but I personally just check the temperature periodically with an instant read thermometer. Initially, you will see a lot of steam and the bubbles will form and pop rapidly. As the syrup increases in temperature, the water will begin to evaporate and the bubbles will be slower to form and pop less easily. It will take roughly 10 minutes to reach this stage. Once you're here, begin checking the temperature of your syrup. You're aiming for 300 F or 150 C. If you don't have a thermometer at all, you can also add a small drop of your sugar syrup to a dish of ice water. Once the syrup immediately turns brittle upon contact with the water, you're ready to dip your apples. Once you reach the right temperature, remove the pan from the heat, then working quickly, dip your apples, ensuring they're evenly coated in the syrup. Be careful when doing this as the sugar is very hot and can cause quite severe burns. Once you've dipped your apples, allow them to set and cool on some parchment paper. It should only take a few minutes until they're ready to eat. And if you liked this recipe, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my next videos. Enjoy!